Hi guys, it's Christina from All Binge and No Purge. Uh, I wanted to do a video vlog about my feelings uh, about my raw food challenge that I did last week. It's been a few days since I finished the challenge, so I wanted to wait and do this um, until my body could kind of transition back to really tell you guys, you know, how I was feeling and what the transition process back from raw to healthy food actually was. Um, so... Today's Thursday, it's been about three days, and uh, right now I I feel good. It's been really interesting going, I mean, even just going on the raw food diet for a week, you, your body adapts. I mean, at least mine did, and I definitely have noticed that since I've gone off the raw food diet, I crave raw food a lot more. You know, I mean, I already incorporated a lot of raw food into my diet, but I just found myself like, when I was looking through my fridge, like, the only thing that sounded good was just a raw, crisp apple. Um, things like that. And and I didn't realize how thirsty I actually was. I mean, at least for this past week, I barely had to drink anything because so much of what you're eating is so... Um, it retains so much water in itself that I wasn't feeling very thirsty. But today, I mean, already it's just the afternoon. I'm already... I only bought this a couple hours ago. So, um... You definitely, it's made me realize just how much water your body actually needs, you know, um, or at least I re-realize that. Um, other kinds of things I've noticed, uh, I've gotten a little more energy, and I think that's because I, I, I've been sleeping more, and uh, I've been drinking more coffee, because so, when I went on the raw food diet, I just said I was just going to do one cup of coffee in the morning and that was it. But sometimes I really feel like I do need more coffee during the day and that's just having to do with my schedule and, and my life and stuff. But um, other than that, I mean, I really, really would recommend trying to go raw. Maybe not for a week, maybe not um, for every meal, but incorporating it into your diet, I think it's really important and I think it's so good for you and you can do a lot with just raw food, more than I really thought when I first started doing this, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be so limiting. I am not going to like this. Like, I like raw food, but I don't know how much of it I can do. And honestly, I mean, there are so many techniques and so many recipes out there on the internet now. Because this is such a growing movement, like, you can make food really, really, really good. And I, I mean, towards the last few days, I really started to enjoy what I was doing a lot more. Because I kind of knew what I was doing. Um... And I was getting more creative with it. So I really think this is such a good option for people to try. I especially want to try it um, because diabetes is something that runs in my family. And while I don't have diabetes, it's it's possible I could get it later on in life just because it is hereditary for us. Um, and so I really think it's important for me personally to practice and incorporate healthy eating styles at this age to um, really ensure that I don't get that disease. Um, so that was one reason why I wanted to do this. I also am going to be writing a magazine story for this, um, or about this. I mean, I did my blog, but I'm also going to be pulling stuff from my blog to write a, ma a magazine article um, for my school's magazine that I work with. Because I think it's important to tell college students about this and to kind of express my viewpoint as a college student. Is this something that we can do on a daily basis? Is it is it economically responsible for us at this age? Um, because raw is expensive, a lot more expensive than I thought it was. And it just, it requires you to eat a lot more food than I thought you would need to. So, you know, I mean, it's been interesting. I you would think you're just eating fruits and veggies. Like, it's not that expensive, especially if you live, like I do, near a small, like, corner market that sells pros for really cheap. But your proteins and, and your oils and, um, you know, the other things in your diet, that's what gets expensive. And so I think it is hard for this, um, for this you know, lifestyle, this food choice to be integrated into a college student's budget, depending on, you know, I mean, I work. But I also have student loans and I am going to school so I can't work full time. So it is hard to try and incorporate it. Um, but it was really interesting. And I also, I also realized like there aren't a lot of raw options on my campus. And I don't know how that is for everybody's school. Um, but at least for mine, 
there, I mean, we have fresh produce and stuff. We can buy an apple or a banana or something, you know, on campus. But um, as far as like full composed meals, no, there's there's nothing on campus. And that was really interesting because even living in San Francisco, you'd think that the school, I mean, we have vegetarian options, we have vegan options, but we don't have raw. So I thought that was interesting. And I think that's something that the school needs to put some attention on. And I hope that my article can really shed some light on that. Um, other, I mean, I've gotten other questions about why I did this, and I've kind of explained that, um, in this video just now, but other than that, I mean, I thought it would just be really fun to really force myself to be creative with how to cook food or not cook food differently, I guess you could say, um, just to really introduce me to different, like, styles of eating and how to make food good without adding tons of, like, fat or butter or meat to it, even, you know, just just really to enjoy the fresh produce as it is. And that's been really fun. And I really have found a new appreciation for a lot of different fruits and veggies, but also realized I don't like some fruits and veggies raw. <laughs> um, so it's really a learning experience. And it's something that I think everybody should try and do at some point in their life because it's fun. Um, other than that, yeah, you know, I mean, I had a really good time. It's I, It was hard uh, for sure, but... But I think it's something that a lot of people need to be exposed to. And even if you just do it for for one meal a day or two meals a day or just your snacks or something, incorporate raw into your diet because it's so much healthier. And, you know, it has made me really realize, like, just how processed some of the foods that we put in our diet are, you know. Um, <clears throat> even things like, you know, on the occasion, yeah, I like hot Cheetos, but doing this made me realize like what the hell is a hot cheeto what is it you, what vegetable does that really come from what is the flavoring where is the color coming from and it really just makes you think like what am i putting in my body this is so bad for me you know and so i think it's a real eye opener it was for me and i already considered myself to be pretty conscientious when it comes to eating healthy so i can only imagine the stark difference between some people's diets and and the raw food diet. So I think it's very important to learn this kind of stuff and to be exposed to it and practice it because it's going to help you live a better life. And I really, as much as I, you know, I don't think this is something I'm going to do for the rest of my life in terms of going all raw all the time, but I'm really glad I got to practice it. And so I think you guys should too. So if you guys have any questions, um, any other questions or want advice or other recipes that I didn't get to try, please contact me. Let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear if anybody else has done the raw diet um, or is currently practicing it. Uh, I'd love to hear your story. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. <laughs> Bye.